Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we are going to install a free plugin which will give you an option to create product tables for WooCommerce products. So let's see the example of the products table that we are going to create in this video. So this is the first product table and here you will see different types of columns such as image, name, description, price, quantity, add to cart. Now you can also sort the products by price, the rating, the popularity or sort by the name of the product. Now here you can also change the background color, the font color. If you want to remove any column, you can also remove the column. And this product table is a predefined or the preset table. So you do not even need to make any changes. It will show the product table automatically. Now this is the second product table. This is also a preset product table. You can also change the background color, the font size, the font type and the style settings of this product table. Here you can also sort them by the price, the name, the title the, and popularity. So you will see there is a difference between these two predefined product table layouts. So here you will see the image and name and the description. Here you will see the name and description are in the same column. Now these three items are also in the same column in this layout. So you can modify the layout if you want to remove this price and put it here you can do that also so i think the predefined tables the preset tables will be the good option to show the woocommerce products table so let's see how does this work do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos so here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we have WooCommerce installed on this dummy website. So on the dashboard, go to plugins and then go to add new. Now here search for WooCommerce products table. So you need to search for WooCommerce product table. And this is the plugin that we are going to install. WooCommerce product table light. Click on install now. Now click on activate. Okay, so the plugin has been installed and activated. Now here in the left hand side panel, you will see this option product tables. Click on it. Now, if you go to this settings, you can check the settings also. So these are the pro settings, car to widget. So these are the basic settings. All right, so we have not changed any settings. Let's go to product tables. Now we need to create a new product table. So click on add new product table. All right, so when you click on it, you will see the dashboard like this. Now here you need to select which table layout you want to choose. Here you will see two different predefined table layout. We are going to create three different layouts. So let's start with the regular table. Click on use this one. Okay, so it says preset applied. So we have used the preset and this is the short code for this table. Okay, you can close this one. Now here you will see different settings for this table. This is the query setting. From here you can select the category of the products. So I'm going to select these three categories. So this is a dummy website and I do not have too many products on this dummy website. So I'm going to select these three categories. How many products do you want to show? 10 products pagination here initial order by low price to high so these are the settings that you can choose from so initial initially it will be set to low to high now hide out of stock items so if product is out of stock it will not show the product select product by ids if you want to select any product by id you can type in the id of the product select products by sku okay so these are the query settings now let's go to the columns now by default it will show these columns let me show you how does this look and after that we will go through the settings so i'm going to open pages and here i have one demo page created so i'm going to click on edit with elementor for this demo page now here i'm going to add a short code so this table will be added using short code on this demo website i'm using elementor so I have selected 
short code element from the Elementor. If you are using some other third party page builder, you can also choose the short code option from that particular page builder. Now here I'm going to copy this short code. This short code is for this table and I'm going to paste this short code here. And this is the basic layout you would see here. Let me update it and let's see how does this look. So this is how the product table will look. So this is the image, the name, the description, price, quantity and add to cart. So if I click on it, it will go to that particular product page. Okay, now here you will see columns. Which are the columns? This is the image column. Then in this column, you have image. That is the product image. In the second column, we have name of the product. In the third column, we have description, then price, then quantity, and then add to cart. Okay, so these are the different elements in these columns. If you want to add something in that particular column, you can simply click on this. So here I'm going to the, let's say I'm, going, I'm on the first column that shows the image. So this is the first column, the text, it shows image. You will see the text here at the top image and this is the product image now if you want to add something in this column you can click on add a row and from the elements you can choose the element that you want to show so let's say i'm i want to show the title just below the image so i'm going to select title and this will be product page check this box and now here you will see title let me save it and let's refresh it. Now here you will see the title added just below the image. We already have it here. Just I just wanted to show you how to add something in that particular column. So this is the title that we have added. So let's go back and delete this title from this column and click on save settings. So this is how you can edit the predefined row settings. Now. Let's go to the top section navigation. So this is the title, the navigation at the top. Here you will see this navigation. Okay, now let's go to the style section. And from here you can change the style settings of this table. Let me show you. Let's go down. This is the container. Now right now the container background color is white. You can change the background color from here. Let's say I'm going to use this somewhat yellow color. You can also change the padding settings, the font size also. This is for the heading. This is the heading. So if you do not want to show, you can simply hide the heading. Font size, let's change it to 18 pixel. And the color is black. I'm going to change it to this one. Let's use blue. Okay, now let's save the settings and let's see. So here you will see the blue color. And this is the color that we added. Let's go back. Now this is for the sales color, the sales style settings. I'm going to change the background color for this one also. Save the settings and refresh it. And you will see all the sales have the same color now the odd rows now for the odd rows we are going to change the background color let's use this light color and even row for the even row we will change this to somewhat pink and this is for the border so this is for the border thickness you can change the color and the thickness also so this is between the rows and I'm going to change the color to dark black. Let's save the settings and refresh it. Now here you will see the dark black color for the border. Now for the even rows, we need to change that color. So let's now here you will see the odd and even color rows has been changed. Okay, so this is how you can change the style settings of this particular product table. So 
So here you will see navigation sidebar and all the settings you will find that you can customize. So this plugin is definitely better than any other free plugin to create WooCommerce product table because you will be able to change the settings of this product table. You can customize, you can change the color settings, font settings in this free plugin. Now let's create a new product table using this other preset. Click on add new product table. And now this time we are going to use this list layout. So click on use. Here you can see that the table has been created automatically. You can change the query settings. So I'm going to select all of them. And just like before, we can change the style settings. So I'm going to save the settings first and let's see how does this look. Okay, now let's copy the short code. Go back to the demo page and I'm going to delete this code and I'm going to add a new one. So search for short code and click on update. All right, now let's refresh it. And this is how the new layout will look. Now let's go to the style settings and change the style. Also change the border between the rows and between the column also. Change the headings color. Let's save the settings. Uh, let's see how does this look. So you will see some difference. You will see the border color has been changed. So just like the previous layout, you can change the style setting of this new layout. Now let's go back to the product tables. So we have created two layouts. Let's add a new one. Now this time use a blank and it will create the product table automatically. Now select all the categories. To show the products and let's go to the columns and we need to add a new column here so click on add new and here you can add different elements so click on the plus sign and from here we are going to select image the product image and check this box so here it will show the product image and the heading will be text that will be let's say image so this will be the text of this column and the product image will be shown here now add a new column and let's say text will be name so this will be the name of the product check the box and here type in the product name let's say title of the product so in the second column name will be the product title now let's click on the new item, new column and here text will be let's say add to cart. So add and the element will be say button and product page. It will open the product page or it will add to cart. So we have added the button that will be add to cart and here you can type in the name so this is the add to cart button check this box now let's save the settings copy the short code and here I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to add a new one update it now let's refresh it so you will see three different columns the image the name the title of the product and the add to cart button so just like the previous layout, you can change the style settings of this newly created product table also. So this is how you can create different types of product tables in WooCommerce using this free plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.